Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I'd like to share this brief screencast to explain how you can use the app Audioboo to record some narrated art. The first thing to make sure you do is that you download the iPhone version of Audioboo, because there is an iPad version in the Apple Store, but as of December of 2012, that app is only available to play Audioboos, not record them. So you're going to want to launch the Audioboo application. When you first get into Audioboo, you're going to need to either sign up or log into your account, and you can click that at the top or you can go over here to settings and you can uh, choose login or sign up. If you have not signed up for Audioboo before, it's going to actually take you to the Audioboo website and this is a site that's going to need to be unblocked and in the notes for this um, video I'm going to also include some links and information about what, what your IT department actually has to unblock to make Audioboo work. You're going to choose a username, and so that's going to be the channel name that people are going to see when they go to your website. So you might choose something like your first initial last name, or your class name, or something like that. Then you'll put in an email address and a password, accept the terms of service, and join. But you will not have to actually um, check your email and verify that in order to use it. You'll be able to use it immediately. In this case, I've already created an audio boot channel, so I'm going to come here and type my... Um, password and um, then um, oops I would actually prefer to have already logged in uh, because if I type my password you're going to see my password so what I think I'm gonna do here on my screen is just move this over a little bit so you can't see me type my password I'm gonna type my password in and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And so now I have logged in to my audio boo. That's an important thing to keep in mind when you use an iPad or an iPhone because whenever you type a password, even when you're in the password field, it will show the characters and you don't want to do that in front of your class or when you're making a screen recording like I am here. So what I'm going to do now is click on the back button there in the upper left corner and now I can go ahead and click record here at the bottom. So I'll click the record button and the record menu comes up. I'm not recording yet. Now I'm going to click the record button on the bottom and I'm going to get a countdown that's going to come from three. So it's going to give me three, two, one, and now I'm recording. Hi, this is Wes, and this is a picture that my daughter drew of the KFC logo using the iPad app brushes. I'll hit pause. And if I want to, I can play it and listen to it. I can resume recording if I want to continue. Or if I'm all finished, in the upper right corner, I can press the green publish button. Now I have an opportunity to attach several things to the audio boo. I'm going to click add photo. And it's going to either let me take a photo or choose an existing photo. And I certainly want to click OK to let it have access to my photos. And now I can go ahead and scroll through the pictures that I've taken. And I think if I go back far enough, I can actually find this picture that Rachel drew of the KFC logo and there it is. Now I can pinch it and resize it but if, if it's a vertical picture like this one it's not going to actually let me make it full size so you're gonna have to kinda decide. It's usually better to shoot your pictures in landscape mode rather than in portrait mode. Okay so I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna click choose and now I'm going to call this KFC logo and if I want to add tags, I can as well. I have location disabled. You can enable that if you want, but if you're at your house or another location you don't want to share with people, then you would want to disable that. So now I simply click the green button here at the bottom, save and upload, and it queues it for upload. Now if I scroll over here to my my booze and click, I can see the progress there, and it's uploaded to the website. And I could play it here within the audio boo application. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go over here to um, Safari and I'm going to put in audioboo.fm and then my username or my channel name which is W Fryer and what you see here is the audioboo which I just created and if I go ahead and click play it will go ahead and play the audio for that audioboo maybe come on come on it looks like it's still there it goes now it's starting to play and so it'll actually play. So that is a short screencast showing you how you can use the uh, free app Audioboo. Audioboo is a fantastic app for creating narrated art. If you'd like to learn more and see examples, uh, one way you can do that is you can simply Google Mapping Media uh, Curriculum. And you can also probably Google Mapping Media to the Common Core. 
And out of all the hits that you'll find online on Google, my mapping media to the curriculum and common course site will come up first and you can simply click the second choice which is called narrated art and that's where you'll find some more information including links to student examples and I'm going to continue building this as I finish up my ebook on mapping media to the curriculum and the common core so thanks a lot for checking out this screencast and I encourage you to check out Audioboo and use it because it is a wonderful way to let students attach their voice to some art or some a photo or something that they've um, taken a picture of and then be able to share that readily online.